I heard on social media that Len Brown was going to be at his first public meeting and opening up a show home just down the road from my place. So I to my bike and this is what I shot. Um, I'm very confident that there should be nothing that would show that we didn't pay, or I didn't pay, for what was appropriate in terms of those meetings. What about this letter of recommendation? I mean, why did you write that? Why did you abuse your position of power? No, I did not abuse my position of power. There will be many, many people around Auckland who have received similar letters of recommendation. But they're not the mistress. Yeah, uh, that would have been a time that's very, very early in um, uh, the uh, relationship that I had with her. Uh, and, uh, and so I wrote, as I do for, um, as I say, many people across Auckland, and that is just a normal letter of support uh, and uh, reflection of what I knew of her at that time. Do you promise Auckland yes. not to do anything like this again? I promise you know, that I will not this again. And Auckland is so proud. Are you yeah. confident that the code of conduct is that yes, that you'll come through that? Uh, look, um, we haven't spent a lot of time talking about that. Uh, the code of conduct is um, primarily between one council to the other. Uh, and um, each of these challenges, as they come my way, we'll just deal with them. Organisers of Auckland Monopoly have suggested they don't want to work their event tomorrow, and you've been to Milton Schools this morning. I mean, is this getting in the way of your mineral duties? Oh, look, it's pretty clear that uh, given um, you know, these events, uh, that um, it's going to take me a little while uh, to uh, reacclimatise myself. Uh, but in particular, of course, what you need to know is that our council has just been elected. Today we had our first meeting uh, of all of the councillors and they've been inducted right now. And so that has precedence over everything at this point in time. The need for us to settle the new council, to introduce the new councillors, six new councillors, the new local boards, the to elect their chairs, put the organisation in place. So Auckland, as I say, wants to get this matter moving on and that's exactly what we're doing. Is this going to have any cause you any problems in those relationships with the councillors? Uh, thus far, things have been okay. Um, you know, I think the councillors have been understanding of what's happened. They know it's a personal, private matter in the end between myself and Janet. Uh, and so they um, are all focused on getting the job done that they're elected for. And Auckland, as I said, I think pretty focused on the fact they just want to get on the job. And so, uh, in terms of the councillors, I always had to work uh, hard on my uh, relation, political relationships with them to ensure that we all get on together as a team. And, and I've already given them my commitment to that's what I'm doing. In your words, I mean, what impact has this been on It's been pretty devastating in the family. Uh, but uh, I, I'm loved uh, by, by my wife and my children in particular. Uh, and uh, we are just working as a how do you view whatever role your political opponent John Kalina made? I've got no comments about any of that. Did you hear that? Take the book from you, must be signing your social pants. What do you think was terrible? You sullied the name of Auckland. And thanks for parking on the yellow line. <laughs> We've got photos of that too. I think it's really fun. He's now taken over the so-called super city and the last three years he sees the joining it together. If you need to make a complaint to the Auckland City Council, they then put you on the manager power which doesn't exist. It's a round and around thing. Now then there's a lot of influence. But I mean, this is the ugliest thing we've ever seen. This is the private thing. This is, this is something he's done to his wife and children and us. Us Auckland is a pretty close to We all work together on the manager. What he's done is unforgivable. You cannot ever make a problem to make. I lived in Australia for 15 years and I've seen some of the politics there. This beats all of that. What was your name, sir? John Walken, H-O-W-K-E-N. Okay, lovely. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.